This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday is normally Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, but as we wait for Guilds of Ravnica, we're actually going to check out a sweet modern deck today. This is Mono Blue Fairies, and you might remember a long time ago on Budget Magic, we played a budget Mono Blue Fairies deck, so this is kind of like non-budget Mono Blue Fairies, and this one recently took Oliver Cray to a top 8 finish at a PPTQ, so congrats to Oliver on a super sweet deck. A quicker reminder before we break down mono blue fairies for modern if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos take a minute click the like button the subscribe button leave a comment anything you can do to support your deck because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week so when it comes to tribal decks we like to talk about what is a tribe's competitive advantage and fairies they kind of have two different things going for them first off they are all evasive which is really powerful and then they got some really sweet trickery they're kind of the original spirits you might say uh, so that's kind of the realm that the fairies fall into kind of old school version of spirits flying trickery mono blue super consistent letting you take advantage of colorless lands but let's talk about why you play fairies and reason number one is miss blind click miss blind click is an incredibly powerful card four mana four four flying flash when it enters the battlefield you have to champion a fairy which means basically Basically, you exile another fairy until Miss Mind Click leaves play, kind of like reverse version of Oblivion Ring or Banisher Priest or something like that, where you're doing it to your own fairy. But then, whenever Miss Mind Click champions a fairy, you tap all lands target player control. So the idea of Mistbind Click is you wait until your opponent's upkeep, you flash it in, use one of your other fairies to champion, and then you just tap your opponent out and basically time walk your opponent for just four mana, plus you have a 4-4 flyer on the battlefield. Then you get to do all kinds of other tricks where you can like Mistbind Click your Mistbind Click to get back the other fairy and just keep like going to town with this crazy loop of fairies championing each other and coming back and doing all kinds of things, but the big deal, time walking your opponent on their upkeep, tapping all their lands, like a cheaper flying version of Elder Deep Fiend almost. Payoff number two for fairies is Scion of Una, which is kind of a weak lord in the sense that it's only a 1-1 one, one for three. The upside is, not only does it give our other fairies plus one plus one, it has flash so we can sneak it in, and it gives all of our other fairies shroud. So we can sneak it in, kind of in response to a removal spell, almost like rattle chains, but protecting all of our other fairies and doing at instant speed. Finally, the last payoff might not look as crazy as Miss Bind Click, Time Walking, or Cyan of Una giving our team protection from targeted removal, but Spell Stutter Sprite is a counter that comes on a body, especially in a fairies deck. Counter is a spell with converted mana cost equal or less than the number of fairies we control. So if we get a bunch of fairies on the battlefield, Spell Stutter Sprite can kind of be a hard counter for most things in modern, and even with just Spell Stutter Sprite, it can counter a path to exile a fatal push and kind of scales throughout the game. So these are kind of the tribal payoffs for being fairies. We also have Quickling, which isn't so much a tribal payoff, but it's an on-curve creature that lets us reuse all of our tricky stuff. So we can do all kinds of shenanigans with Quickling. Like, for example, Mistbind Click, championing our Spellsetter Spirit to tap our opponent out, and then Quickling to pick up our Mistbind Click, which puts our Spellsetter Spirit back into play to counter a spell, to next turn Mistbind Click again to tap our opponent out for a second turn in a row, and just keep going crazy with all these fairy shenanigans. Then we have some other fairy payoffs, I guess. They're not really tribal payoffs, but they're support cards. Fairy Miscreant works really well with Quickling. If we get two at once, we get to draw a card when the second one enters the battlefield. Then we can Quickling it back. Good for championing with our Mistbind Click as well. Vendillion Click, just a one-off flashing in is our kind of fairy thought sees. And then we have Snapcaster Mage, which is the only non-fairy in our deck, but it allows us to reuse our spells, and then we can even reuse the Snapcaster with Quickling if we want to. So what are we flashing back 
with our Snapcaster. Well, first off, Freeman, pretty straightforward, great tempo counter spell, bouncing a spell back to our opponent's hand and drawing a card. Cryptic Command can tap our opponent out, do all kinds of things. The most spicy addition, though, is Familiar Gurus, which is a counter spell, only two mana, literal counter spell, except you also have to bounce a creature you control to your hand. So, this is another way we can kind of do the quick lane trick. We counter something, we pick up our Mistbind Click, we get back whatever we were championing, then we can Mistbind Click again or pick up our Snapcaster to flash back another counter spell, or Snapcaster to flash back Familiar Ruse to pick up our Snapcaster to counter something else. Just all kinds of shenanigans with Familiar Ruse in this deck. Otherwise, for removal, Vapor Snag, a little bit of life loss, kind of tempo our opponent out of the game, can also do double duty by picking up Mistbind Clicks for even more shenanigans. Smuggler's Copter gives us a way to filter through our deck, works with the flying theme, even though it's not a fairy, a way to upgrade our small fairies like Spellsetter Sprite, which is good at countering things, but not great at attacking, into a bigger, more powerful attacker as a 3-3 in the air. In the mana base, we get more fairies. Mutavault takes advantage of the fact we're mono blue, so we can afford a lot of colorless lands, benefits from all of our random fairy synergies. It's a fairy for our Mistbind Click to champion, or to power our Spellsetter Spirit or whatever. Fairy Cogglave, a little more expensive, but does fly and is a fairy. Then we have a bunch of random lands, gemstone caverns, just a one-off kind of free roll, a boro, I guess, to kind of play around things like choke, field of ruin for Tron, a bunch of snow-covered islands, no reason they gotta be snow-covered. If you want to cut like 40 bucks off the price of your deck, just play normal ones, doesn't really matter. In the sideboard, we get some more fairies. Notorious Throng is pretty interesting. We can cast it, we get X-1-1 black fairies with flying, where X was the damage we dealt to our opponent, so if we hit our opponent for like four or five in the air, we get five fairies. If we hit our opponent with a rogue, which some of our fairies are, we can prowl it for six mana, which not only gets us those fairies, but also gives us an extra turn to attack with all those fairies. Not sure what matchup in specific this is for, but a pretty unique card. Glenelander Archmage, great fairy for kind of control matchups, double negate on a stick that keeps coming back from the graveyard. We also have a couple of weird ways to finish off the game. Thing in the Ice flips around, bounce our opponent stuff, gives us a huge threat. Aether's Fear Harvester, another big flyer that's great against burn and other aggro decks just blocking gaining tons of life mind break trap to help against storm relic for graveyard decks shadow of a doubt to cycle and stop a search of something like primeval titan or scape shift i guess redirect i have no idea why it's in the deck but sweet <laughs> definitely spicy and that is mono blue fairies for modern and that has been our instant deck deck for today so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.